Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Trade Day Results and today we're going to be doing the Milestone Cards. If you guys don't know what this series is, it's basically me just checking trades and uh, accepting offers, hopefully for all the players that are out right now that I have in my trade block. And we have a total of 136 trades on 9 of the players. I think the person with the most trades right now is... Filthy Phil Castle with 56 trade offers. I have not checked the trades at all, so my genuines I think will be pretty, like, pretty, pretty good for today at least. They're going to be very genuine. Alright, so let's start off with the lowest players to the highest players, and I already have them already organized. So Alexander Semen will be the first player I check out, and he is 87 overall with 15 trade offers. I don't exactly really know the values, but you know what, we'll get through the trade offers, we'll see what we can do, alright? I'm just going to choose all the ones I'm interested in, I'll check the values, and then I'll accept the offers. So, Rick Nash, that is a pretty solid deal first off. Daniel Alfredson and Mikael Botker, compared with the first one, I think I'm going to reject it. I like Rick Nash better, his value is there, uh, for me at least. And then we got also TJ Oshie, he's like a 5k player, so that's about 6k, it's a little bit off with that one. Then next up with Rick Nash is Vorchek, Turris, Evander Kane, and Ryan O'Reilly. A crap ton of, like, solid 87 overall players, but Alexander Stemmen is a very, very expensive player worth 50,000 coins. The players are there, but not the value. I'm sorry about that. Going on to the next trade here, we got Thornton, Lucci, Spezza, and Couture. Whole bunch of 88 overalls, but once again, these guys are not worth too much. The probably Couture maybe is the most expensive guy. Jumbo Joe is under 10. Lucic under 10. Spezza, uh, I'm, I'm going to reject that offer. Uh, I think I can accept a better offer for Alexander Semen. Uh, going on to the next one here, Scott and Koshnu. And 50 coins and a bronze contract. Nah, I'm not going to take that. I already have too many John Scotts. I'm trying to price lock him, right? Alexander Tange and 10k. I was just kidding about that. Tange and uh, 10k. That I guess it's not bad, but Tange's value I think is just around 10 to 15k. With the 10k, I'm going to reject that. I just found out the milestone values yesterday, so uh, I don't think that's the greatest offer for me. At least uh, Eric Stahl, Pavelski, Martin Saint Louis, and Alexander Petrangelo. Sorry, Petrangelo. Sorry, um, Petrangelo is worth I think a good solid 40, 50k still. So that is a very good deal for Alexander Semen. I don't think I need to check the values. I'm going to maybe just bank on taking that Petrangelo. Petrangelo, sorry. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to mess up that name every single time. So I'm sorry about that, guys. But keep it going on here. Alexander Semen and 50 pucks. Obviously not going to take that. I mean, the Milestone Semen's a lot better. And then going on to that, I'm pretty sure I can reject the first deal as well. I like the Petrangelo deal. Uh, we got the plus two all. We got this second offer here. Backstrom, Thornton, Voracek, and Mike Green. Not too bad of a deal, but not exactly interested in him. Sorry about that. Uh, I just did a little bit of a cut uh, because I thought my mic settings were off a little bit, but I figured out it was okay. So going back into the offers. Sorry for the weird cut once again. Ryan Kessler, Jack Johnson. I am going to reject that deal just because I still think that first deal is better. I think Ryan Kessler is only worth 25 to 30k. And the final offer is four Fiddlers. I don't know I don't know how many times I've pulled Fiddler in packs, but I don't want him. But I think I'm going to take my chance with this deal. So whoever sent this in, thank you very much. This is a very solid deal. Pavelski, Eric Stahl, Martin St. Louis, and Pete Trangelo. Very, very good. All right. So going on to Martin St. Louis milestone. We got 12 offers here. Brent Seabrook. I don't think it's worth 50k, but I will delay for now because that is the best offer. We also got Bacchus, Oshi, and 15k. A couple of consumables there, but uh, I'm not going to take that. Not too interested in those St. Louis players. They aren't worth too much anymore. Uh, but Luke Robitaille. All right, all right. I'll, I will consider that offer for sure. Hanson, Petrie, Jones, and Gudas. Whole bunch of, like, kind of like no names. I mean, they're all quick salt players for me at least. Eric Carl Carlson, he's worth around 30, 40k maybe. I will delay that. I'm not exactly sure which one's better. Uh, same with this deal. I'm not interested in the consumables at all. I will just be selling them. I don't really play too many games where I need consumables anymore. But Bobby Ryan, Callahan, and Jordan Stahl, I'm going to reject that deal as well. And going on to the fourth deal here, here Ryan McDonough, Jakob Voracek, and 10k. No thanks for that. I think there was a couple better deals there. But going on, we got Connor McDavid. That actually interests me because I think he still goes for around 40, 50k. So I will delay that as well. And he's boosted as well. So, and we also got Zach Parise, Shattenkirk, and 8.6k. 
that is a pretty good deal as well. I think uh, Parise is still going for around 35 to 40 with Shattenkirk. I mean, that seems like a pretty fair deal to me. Uh, four Fiddlers again. Uh, very funny. Spezza Martin St. Louis. Uh, I'm going to reject that deal. And I think the best one here, I'm going to reject the Seabrook deal straight up. Uh, just because I like the last one for sure. And same with the Luke Robitaille. I think I might reject it just because I'm not too interested. I'm going to reject the Eric Carlson. I know he's under 40. Uh, and then the other deal here we have is Connor McDavid. And the thing with Connor McDavid is he is hard to sell. Like he might be selling for 70k, but I'm not interested in him right now. And he has a Buffalo change team. Definitely a Buffalo fan. So I will choose between Luke Robitaille and Parise and Shattenkirk in a little bit. Maybe at the end of the video. But we'll see what happens, right? Anyways, Ryan Miller is the next player up with seven trade offers. A pretty good goalie. Uh, but let's see what we have here. Mark andre Fleury. He is boosted. I'm pretty sure there would be maybe a plus five all on him or something. I don't really know exactly what's on him. Uh, I think a plus seven quick. Higher and low maybe. Not exactly sure. But Parise in 5k. Once again, a solid deal. Andrew Ladd, I'm not interested in at, at all. He was practically a quick sell player for most, uh, at least all the games that I've seen so far. Ben Bishop, Krejci, and Oshi. I'm not sure of Bishop's value, but I don't think he's worth 20k anymore. I'm going to reject that deal straight up. He is a good goalie, but Ryan Miller has more value in my opinion. Pittsburgh changed team. And then the third offer here is four more Fiddlers. Man, that guy's a lot of Fiddlers. And if I'm going to compare offers, I think I'm going to probably reject this deal because I'm not interested in Hartnell and Hiller. So Parise, I will hold on to for now. I just want to check Parise's value because I actually don't know what it is. Going on to Patrick Sharp getting to the more expensive players. I think he's worth around 75, 80k. So we're going to have to compare a couple deals here. But Jamie Benn, he's around maybe 50, 60k. Uh, Ryan Johansson, not exactly sure how much his value is worth, but... I'm not too interested in him. I don't think so. I'm going to reject that deal because Johansson, to me, is not worth too much. Uh, going on, Ryan Callahan and Patrick Sharp. I guess that's not a bad deal. Um, but you know what? Sharp doesn't go for too much. Callahan, I don't think, goes for more than 50k. I'm going to reject that deal straight up. Uh, going on to the next one here. Flash expense of Patretti Green. Definitely under worth 30, 40k. Uh, Claude Giroux. I think that's a good deal. I think he's still going for around 70. So you're getting about a good at least 80, 90 K there. I like that. Jonas Hiller, Koivu, Stahl, and Ladd. I can reject. Uh, going on here. Nash and Kessler. That is solid. Gabrick and 50. I can reject that straight up. I honestly like the first two, the second and the third offer at least. Uh, Alexander Steen, a player of the game. I've not seen a, at least a player of the game one for a while. Um, I will have to delay that. I'm not sure. Mark Strait and Bishop, no thank you for that. And next is four fiddlers again. Okay, I should just... Why am I surprised that there isn't four fiddlers on every single player? There probably is, right? Shouldn't be too surprised here. But there's a lot of offers for Patrick Sharp that I want to compare. Jamie Benn, I'm going to reject straight up. Because I do like the Claude Giroux, if anything. Rick Nash and Kessler, pretty good. Alexander Steen... Ooh, he is a player of the game, but you know what? I am going to reject it. Alexander Steen, to me, doesn't seem like he's worth too much to me. But going on to Eric Stahl with six trade offers. Uh, and he's also worth around 70, 80k. So we're going to see what value we can get for him. Oh, uh, we got a Clapperton card there. But Hoodler and uh, Miku Koivu. No thanks for that. I'm not too interested in that. Clapperton, definitely not interested in that. Uh, Camilleri, Sekera, Brown, and Fanuf. No thank you. 69k and those four players i said eric Stahl was worth around 70 so this is a very very good deal in my opinion and we got the we got the squad here the full uh colorful pack here we got lazar curtis lazar rantanen uh, benino and Semyon verlamov i think he was a 90 overall goalie at least and that is not a bad deal i will have to delay that and four fiddlers yep i'm not too surprised there <laughs> but uh i like the 70k but the, the variety pack there was pretty solid as well. But we'll, we'll, we'll compare the offers later, alright? So going on to this, we got Jumbo Joe, Backstrom, Voracek, and 60,000. I like the puck amount. Jonathan Drewen, he's a very, I guess, cheap player nowadays. Tyler Sagan, he's worth around 35. Benino, not too much. I'm going to reject that straight up. I like the first deal with the 60,000 coins. And Thornton and Ginla, reject. And let's see what else. 5k Giroux. Giroux's around a good, I think, still 60k. Um, so that is not a bad deal. But I'm going to delay it. Pominville and 48k. 
reject i like the 60k better i mean straight up uh, that deal was worth minimum six or maximum 60k so that deal is definitely not the best one bergeron don't exactly know his value but i know he's the cheapest 91 overall you can get uh, maybe there's another guy i'm missing out but uh, i'm not too interested in bergeron maybe a goalie that's 91 overall but i'll right trigger that one player of the game marty hansel one of my favorite players but i'm not sure if he's worth 50k with uh, franz nielsen Ooh. I will, I will delay. You know what? I'll, I'll consider it because I like Hansel. And then let's check the back trade there. Four Fiddlers. Come on, Justin. What the fuck am I doing? I know Fiddlers are there. All right. So those deals are still there. I want to kind of compare some of the values because I'm still unsure. But the 60K, the Backstrom, and the other card, I do like. So holy fuck. 56 offers on Phil Kessel. That's going to be a fun one to go through, right? Patrick Marlowe uh left wing sniper 90 overall he's worth around 130 from what i know at least so that's why i'm going to base him off i don't have to sell him for sure but we'll have to see i rejected the first offer because i'm not too interested in honestly tourist manic hansel uh, paul martin not interested in that is getting better but i don't think this reaches my 130k especially with callahan and wheeler i'm not interested in those hut lives yakov Vorchek. 90 overall he does have the same overall but i know there is a november one of yakov Vorchek, and i know that there is a couple other special cards of him so i'm not exactly sure if that's worth the value there roman yossi of course the leafs lost to uh the national predators yesterday and yossi played a great game uh kessler marlowe and gabrick i'll reject that second offer here is mcleod uh we got method ben and rick the dick nash i'm gonna reject that straight up definitely not worth 130 uh and four fiddlers so I might just not take an offer for Patrick Marlowe this week and maybe just save him for maybe my own team or my own squad. We'll see about that. All right. So we got another offer or we got another couple players here. It sh should be just two more, Brodeur and Kessel. So it shouldn't be too much, but Kessel will take a while. Marc-Andre Fleury, Yari Curry, Brian Boyle, and Kevin Shattenkirk. A lot of solid players here. I know Fleury's worth around 20k maybe. Yari Curry is kind of a wild card. I'm not sure how much he's worth now because legend cards have dropped. I know for a fact, I think Medano is under 80k now. So I can't think Yari Curry is worth more than, I say, say 150k. But I will delay it. Parise, Callahan, Wheeler, and Phil Pila. Just never trade me Callahan and Wheeler, guys. I don't think I'll ever take an offer with those guys unless it's a very good offer. Uh, I just, their values are never there every single NHL year, which kind of sucks because they are great players, but the values are never there. Ben Bishop, Bobby Ryan, he's got a Movember card, but he still hasn't received an upgrade, so he's still 87 overall. I'm going to reject that straight up. I uh, like the first offer for sure. I mean, Yari Curry, you can't really beat him. Niami Bodker, Hornfist, and Felino. No, thank you for that. Definitely under 100k. Definitely under 10k. Uh, right trigger that. Wait, is that the same offer? What, what's going on here? Okay, there's two Marc-Andre Fleury's. That threw me off a bit. Parise, Marlowe, Cronwall, and Fleury. I'm going to reject that straight up. The first offer is definitely a little bit better. Bergeron, Kessler, Oshi, reject. I know that Brodeur right now is selling for a starting price of 150 k If I really want to put him up, I could sell him for 150 I'm surprised it didn't get a bid, but uh, I kind of understand it's been... There's still an hour and 26 minutes left. Maybe it'll get a bid later. But that Rene in 100 k that is not a bad deal. I will delay that. 7 k Kessler, Tatar, Latang, and Johnny Quick. Ooh, 93 overall. I do like that with Latang and Kessler with the 7K, 7K. I will consider that offer. I like that. Uh, we got Burke and Philadelphia Flyers. Uh, let's see what else we got here. And I promise you guys, I have not checked the trades at all. So that is a very solid deal with Quick. I do like him. Tuka Rask and Chris Latang, Hut Live, 91 overall. I like that as well. God damn it. I'm going to be going through a lot of uh, at least player price checking in a little bit. And I'll tell you guys. Uh, at least which one I take, but Rask, Sedin, Thornton, and Sedin again, the Sedin brothers, or sorry, sisters, Thornton and Rask. I'm going to reject that straight up, uh, just because I think the other one had Tuka Rask in it. Uh, what, what was it, this one? Yeah, so I think Latang was worth more than that. And of course, another four Fiddlers. Oh, Jesus. Some guy got it. Caught the troll trades in. Like, I have not even checked the troll trades, guys. That's how serious uh, I am about that, but... Finally, we got Phil Kessel. I know I bought him for 230k, priced him up for 250, and we got 56 trade offers. So this is going to be an interesting one. 
1,000 James Neal, reject. It could pretty much be all troll trades. 90 overall Phil Kessel, reject. Just because I know like his value is definitely not there compared to the at least milestone one. Another Phil Kessel with 115,000. But the three other players there, Shattenkirk, Gabrick, and Sedin are not too good with the filthy Phil. I'm going to reject that as well. I still like, well, I don't like any offers yet. I might just sell them later. But Jamie, Ben, Ellis, and Montoya, 40k, no thank you. Felino, Barry, Edler, King, no thank you. Just all players, not really worth too much. Uh, uh, Psych, I think his last name is, plus 7 rebound. Jamie, Ben, and 17. Like, those guys aren't worth too much. I mean, Phil Kessel is worth about 200k plus at least, right? Gay, whore, fucks, boys. Okay, thank you very much for sending in that trade, man. Datsu, Kopitar, and Voracek. That seems worth around like 70. So Kopitar and Voracek. No thank you for that still. I th I still haven't found an offer I like. But that, I like the Claude Giroux. I'm not sure what overall he is. You can put three training slots into him. So I'm thinking he's only a 91 or 92 overall maximum. So I will right trigger that as well. Okay, here we go. Mike Medano, Zach Parise, Yari Curry, and Phil Kessel. I know that was a weird way to read them out. But Medano, like I said, worth around 70k with Yari Curry. With Phil Kessel and Parise. Ooh, that's definitely the leading offer for sure. I'm going to reject the Claude Drew. I'm going to take my chances with that one uh, for that fourth one. But we got Patrick Kane. Patrick Kane, I think, is still worth 200 k I'm not exactly sure. With the Brent Seabrook and 25 I like that deal as well. A lot of more player pricing, uh, I guess, comparisons later. But we also got a torso injury. And that's the bad thing about the... I guess trading block where it goes back all the way to the beginning. I don't know why they just don't keep it on the third dot, you know? Or whatever the dot is left on, it should be just kept there. Because now rejecting trade offers is ridiculously hard. It makes trade days a lot harder. But I think I might just fast forward until I get through some of these troll trades. So I'll be right back in like two seconds. Alright guys, so we finally went through the trade offers. I'm kind of glad that uh, I did fast forward the clip there, but I got a little bit of a break. But Phil Kessel, Datsuk, and Bobrovsky is the next one here. And this offer is not bad. Like, you're getting just about his value. But uh, I like the first couple offers there, so I'm going to reject that. The third last offer is, of course, for Fiddlers. What am I to expect there? And the last one is Patrick Marlowe, uh, Marion Hossa, Luke Robitaille, and Victor Hedman. Uh, I'm not going to take that deal just because I know Marion Hossa is under 100k now. Same with Luke Robitaille. Like, his value is under 50 from what I know. So you're getting less than 200, and those first two deals are definitely the top runners. So, uh, Patrick Kane Seabrook and uh, the Parise Medano, Phil Kessel, and Yari Curry are definitely the front runners for this one, for the Phil Kessel. So, now it is time that I'm going to check some of the values, so I'm going to be right back, and then I'll tell you which offers I take. So good luck to, I guess, those offers that are left uh, for the final ones. Alright guys, so I checked some of the values, and I am very surprised by some of the deals that I've received. Uh, as well as some, well, some of them have surprised me, let's just say that. But, let's start off with Martin St. Louis, and we can start accepting some offers. So, Rick Nash is around 35k. Uh, we got Luke Robitaille, which is worth about 30, so that is definitely less than Rick Nash's value. And then Parise is still around 40k, with Shattenkirk and 8.6k. That is the best offer for Martin St. Louis so far, so I'm going to accept that deal. Thank you very much. Enjoy your Martin St. Louis. I think he's still going for around 50k plus, so uh, it wasn't too bad of a deal for you at least. But next up is Ryan Miller with two trade offers here, and we did receive another one here. JVR, and we also got Zach Parise. Like I said, Parise is around 38, 39k with the 5k. If I'm going to compare with JVR and 28k, the Parise I am going to take. So enjoy your Ryan Miller. I'll take the Parise and 5k. So that crosses off two players off the list so far. I'm trying to speak as fast as I can. I don't want to waste any time. But we did receive other couple offers here. But Brad Richards, not worth too much uh, other than maybe 20, 30k maximum. Uh, we got Claude Giroux here. And Giroux is still worth around 60k. With the 25k, that's a very solid deal. But then we got Rick Nash and Kessler. Uh, like we said, Rick Nash is about 35. But with Kessler, uh, he's worth about around 25 as well. So, the second offer is definitely the best. The Brad Richards wasn't that bad, but Claude Giroux, there we go. Enjoy your Patrick Sharp. I bought him for around 80k, so um, it was a pretty fair deal. You get, I, I gained about 5k, but then again, I do have to sell Giroux. So, I won't be losing too much on EA tax as well when I sell him. But, next up is Eric Stahl here. 
and like I said, I bought him for around 70k, or at least I received him two weeks ago, and he was worth 70k, and there's no more 90 overall milestone stalls, so I don't exactly know how much he's worth, that's why I put him up, but Seabrook is worth around 15 to 20k, not worth too much, Oshi, Bacchus, Thornton, and Koivu, not too bad as well, and Lazar, Rantanen, Bonito, and Semyon Varlamov, I like the colorful package here, however, however, I thought Verlamov went for a lot more. Like you can see there, he is on the Washington Capitals, but uh, he is only worth 20k right now, the Winter Classic one at least. Uh, you can check for yourself on Xbox One, but like I said, it's only worth 20k with the Pucks, Benino, Rantanen, and Lazar. I am actually going to reject it and take this deal. I like the 70k Pucks. I don't usually like taking players like Bacchus and like Miku Koivu because they don't go for too much, but because the puck total is there, those four players just seem to be like a little bit of an add-on to me. So enjoy your milestone, Eric Stahl. Let me know how he plays in the con box if whoever sent that deal in. But we got six more on Jumbo Joe. Uh, we got Jamie Benn here, and he is worth, uh, right now, just at around 40k. And I know Joel Thornton's worth around 70, so I can reject that deal straight up. Uh, Backstrom and Voracek, that is a very solid deal. Giroux is 60k, so I can reject that straight up because the Backstrom and Voracek deal, I actually would prefer that the 60k pucks over Giroux because I would have to sell them anyways, right? Next up, we got Bergeron here who is worth around 50k with Kessler who's worth around 25, so you're getting about a 75k deal here, just about Thornton's value, and I know that Thornton is a good centerman, so I'm not sure if he's trying to replace uh, those two players with Joe Thornton, but uh, he might have a pretty good trade offer there. And this deal right here, Marty Hansel, unfortunately, he's not worth too much. He's worth around 40k. That gives you about 65. But like I said, the second offer is better. Sorry about the chair crack there. But Bergeron and Kessler is the deal I'm going to take. So enjoy your Jumbo Joe. I love Milestone Thornton. I'm not sure if you ever used him before either. But hopefully he plays well for you, all right? So next up, Patrick Marlowe with three trade offers. Another one might have came in. I don't know why it is glitched out like that. Uh, maybe there were some other offers that came in, but I'm not sure. So, I checked the offer, or I checked the value of Voracek, alright? So, Voracek is a little bit weird, because uh, there aren't too many in the market, and there are a lot of versions of him as well. And Yaka Voracek right now, from what I'm seeing, is going for around 140k, this version of him at least. I know there's an 88 version, there's an 89 version, uh, but the 90 version is definitely not too bad. Uh, because I did pay 130k, uh, 135k for Patrick Marlowe. That deal is pretty solid. So enjoy your Yakub Vor or enjoy your Patrick Marlowe. I will definitely take a take Yakub Voracek. I'll see how I can sell him, or if I might just do a trade day a bit later. But uh, two more offers here, or two more players: Brodeur and Filthy Phil Kessel, Mike Smith, Bozak, Helm, and Tukarski. No thanks for that. Uh, we got 33k. A whole bunch of guys as well. I was considering this. This was a new offer that did come in, but these guys aren't worth too much. I mean, Movembers, these guys haven't been upgraded, and I do not think they're going to get an upgrade anytime soon. So that for that reason, I'm going to reject it. And the Legend cards have surprised me this year, guys. I'm not sure, but Flurry, 91 Flurry, uh, goes for around 15, 20k maybe. I had him for my Hut Roulette. He's not too expensive of a goalie. Yari Curry, however, is worth around 85, so you're getting about 100k in value right there with Boyle and Shattenkirk. Boyle is still worth around 20k, so you're getting 120, 123 with Shattenkirk. I am going to reject it because I know I can sell Martin Brodeur for more. All right, I'm going to reject that deal. Pekka Rene is worth around 40k, so you're getting about 140k. I like the puck total. That's what I'm going to say there. I'm going to right trigger that one as well. Ryan Kessler, Tatar, Latang, and Quick. And this was also very surprising to me as well. Jonathan Quick right now is going for around, I think, uh, what? let me see here. I wrote it down, 90k with um, Ryan Kessler. That's about 115k with Latang, 130, Tatar, 7k. Not horrible, all right? So Rask is also worth around 55k with Latang though. The thing is, I checked up Latang's value and this is no training in Chris Latang. He is one of the newer ones and there's zero on the market. But there is a couple 90 Latangs on the market right now, and he's going for 100k plus. So for that reason, I am going to take this deal for the Martin Bruder. I didn't think this was the leading offer, but it is a very good deal. So enjoy your t um, Martin Bruder. I'll take the Tuka Rask and Chris Latang. The value is there. I think we're getting a pretty even deal on my end, as well as his end as well. So good trade there. And the last but not least, 
filthy Phil Kessel. Seven trade offers. I have to stop saying that because he isn't too filthy this year. But Mark Savard, 60k. No, thank you for that. Not too interested. Phil Kessel is going for around 70k right now. So you're getting about 82. Not too interested. Claude Giroux, not too interested either. I don't think he's worth about 200k. Chris Tang, like I said, he's worth around 100. I would say at least 125 to 150. With the pucks, Vermette Latang still under 200k, so I'm going to reject that. Parise, Modano, Kessel, and Yari Curry. So, Phil Kessel is worth around 70k. Parise is worth around 40k, so you're getting about 110 right off the bat. With Yari Curry, though, you're getting about... Uh, you're adding on an extra 85k, so you're getting about 190. With Mike Medano, you're getting about... Mike Medano's about 75k, so you're getting about 250 to 260k so that is definitely the leading offer however patrick kane is right now going for 215 Ooh, this one's going to be a close one 215 for patrick kane 25k for uh with the pucks with seabrook that's about 42k added on so you're getting about 257k with this deal all right i'm i'm really adding it up right now 257 Oh shit, both offers are definitely better than Phil Kessel's value, uh, but I do have to sell the players. Parise, 40k. Phil Kessel, 110. I mean, I'm just adding them up. 110. Yari Curry, I'm going to say you're getting about 190 just from that, maybe 195. With Mike Medano, you're getting about 260 to 270k, and everybody is just about on their right positions. Uh, this one here. Oh, I like Patrick Kane so much because I know I can just sell one player and that's worth about 260 as well. But in terms of the variety of players, I am going to take the legends right here. So enjoy your milestone Phil Kessel. Jesus, all for a plus one boost, but I, I don't even know. That would be filthy to have on your team. Why am I saying filthy all of a sudden? Maybe because Phil, Phil Kessel's in this trade offer, but... This is the deal I am taking. You guys maybe let me know in the comment box below if I took the wrong deal. But both values are above Phil Kessel's value. So I'm not really losing out. It really is just those two offers that are very good. But that is going to end the trade day results. Very, very successful. I took an offer for every single one. As you can see, there's zero active now. So thank you guys for sending in such amazing offers. I can't thank you guys enough. You guys can let me know what offer you sent in to one of my players, whether you sent in troll trades or whether you sent in some legit offers or whether you sent in a donation, let me know in the comment box below and what trade day you would like to see next in terms of players because I would like to, at least for the people that are trading, uh, what players would you like to see next up on the trade day? I'm probably going to sell all those players, rebuy them, uh, rebuy some new players for you guys to trade in so you guys don't have to do it yourselves. Okay, I I'm going to end this video here. It's way too long. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys later. Bye. I'm looking for you. New hunt live for watching the look forward to. So first goal pack is Carter Ashton, Zeke, and Murphy. Nothing too special. Carry Price. Yes. 92 overall goalie. That is going to help out our squad for sure. That is a huge.